Hello guys, and today we're going to be playing Ellen, Eternal League of Nephia, which is a RPG roguelike. It is the predecessor from Alona, which I haven't played, but I've heard good things about. And this has got hundreds and hundreds of positive reviews on Steam, and it's only been out for like a couple of days. But it is early access, so let's get into it and see if it is any good. The first thing, we want to create an adventurer. So... Um, let's go with this dude, Omimi, and Aelus is Solitary Beast. We'll pick his age random. Uh, my father was a board spy, and my mother was a cornered smith, and I was born in a cave somewhere. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, my race is Jewir, and my class is a farmer. But I don't want to be a farmer, I want to be a thief. Let's go for a thief. So, uh, thieves make their living by extracting valuable items from tombs and ruins. So, my domains are poison, darkness, and chaos. Um, these are my stats over here. I'm guessing these flames here are what you're good at. It's a bit like Rim World in that sort of sense. So really good at dexterity and perception, which you would have thought so because he's a thief. Uh, same with all these skills, lock picking, disarming traps, all that. And we've got the difficulty down here. So your oath, so you can start with none, so you can save it anywhere. We've got the Oath of Destiny, manual save and load save will be disabled and Oath of Eternity, Oath of Eternity is basically permadeath, so if you die you lose everything. So we'll just stick with Oath of Destiny for now and let's create this character. Yes, I'm sure. Here we go. A long time ago, now forgotten, the remnants of many civilizations are buried in the earth and the 11th era a Yulva began with the scars of the Reem I do still un unmended. Fires of war started by the ancient desert empire soon spread over the world and brought a long period of fusion to Ilva. After losing the Syrian airship on the western continent, the empire gradually withdrew from various regions. Humans celebrated the first victory in peace they had won, however they forgot, never forgot the betrayal of Elias. Eventually, 15 years passed. Here we go, so, you are awake, no, lie down, lie down still, you were out cold for a while. Oh, what happened to me? Is it for, isn't it fortunate that we found you before it's too late? Never wise for humans to step into the forest of Elia, especially in the mist of night like this, when the wind is strong and the trees are astir. Are you a traveller? What brings you to Missilia? Am I prying too much? Yes, you are. You're being a bit nosy. So, this is where our story begins. Ash was as, sarc as sarcastic as ever, but he seems more pleased than I was with the little break you unintentionally gave us. The fate that lay ahead of Massilia, the truth of the world and the choice we have made and the scars it has brought to the Yulva. Unaware of what was yet to come, we gazed at flames of, of the bonfire, waiting patiently for the dawn to break. So our mystery's guest finally wakes up. There's porridge right by the bonfire, already getting cold though. Come to me when you're filled. We need to talk. Okay, so we're in the game. Let's have a quick look at the, the UI. So up here it tells you where we are. You've also got the weather. We've got the time up here. And we'll click on this. Is So this is the, the, the um, little fairy. So she's got to help us. Don't worry, you're not hallucinating. She's got to be more guided. Okay, that's fine. So click on the help. That's self-explanatory. We've got recipe research on the side there. We've got notes. You can leave notes at the top of the screen. We've got the quest tracker. You turn it on and off. And use bed in inventory. And then down here we've got the inventory tab. So what have we got on me? We've got seven oak bandages and we've got an adventure log. So let's read that. Yeah, that just goes through what she's just said to me. That's fine. And we have got a purse equipped. Let's open that. What have we got in it? We've got eight orans, which is the standard currency of North Tyrus. And we've also got a sand shirt equipped to us. Let's take a look at our abilities. So we've got meditate, which um, restores our HP and mana. We've got slight hand, steal someone else's belongings. We've got quick craft, hold handcrafting without a facility. 
We've got self-harm, which damage your own body, inflicts various status effects. The last card to play when there is nothing you can do. <laughs> so if you're in a bit of trouble, you just take your own life, basically. And we've got pray, so you can pray to God. What else have we got down here? So we have got a character sheet on there. Gives us all our stats. Uh, we've got different skills on there. We've got traits. So our traits are we innate feet, so you eat effectively and we have got luck on our solid, so plus 30 luck. This is our resistances, so I'm guessing that'll change as we equip different armor. We've got enchantment, looks like you can enchant the armor that you're wearing. Uh, no, that's just a bit of bio. And strategy, so auto combat, so there is auto combat in this game. And instead of just clicking, clicking and clicking and clicking, you, you've actually got a bit of auto combat and I think it will actually heal you up when you take damage as well, but I don't want to be an archer, do I? Go for a predator, I'm not sure what that does, but I'm not sure what sort of style, um, fighting style that is, but we'll go for that. Well, first, let's grab this porridge, let's get it down us. And at the bottom here, it looks like we've got our health bars, mana bar, and that's got to be our energy, or stamina. Okay, so just click on the tiles to move around, so it is turn-based, this game. Let's speak to Fiamma. Are you alright? Thanks for saving me. I have some questions. What is the old forest? Let me see your home equipment. So, she's selling stuff, so we can actually build a base in this as well, like build a house. So she's selling stuff for gold bars, which I haven't got any at the minute. Let's speak to character here. Who is it? Ashland. Are you feeling a little better? First things first, you've earned this. The man tosses you a piece of parchment. Don't worry about it. It's just a quota, although a deed for land sounds like a good thing. So, what is a land deed? So a land deed is uh, giving away land for free to promising adventurers. Okay, so I own this land if I use that. Teach me the way of living, picking up and using items, gathering and fatigue, and crafting. That's fine. Will you ask her about these? See if she gives me anything. No. Right. Okay. Bye. So what we got here? So we got a land deed here. So let's pick that one up. Why can't I pick that up? So if I, do I have to pick it up to use it? Yeah, to pick it up, read the land deed, let's claim this land, yes. Okay, nice, so this land is ours, so we can finally start building a home. And that's my hearthstone, so obviously that's, that's the claim land, so you can grab that and move that around as well. Let's talk to these. Congratulations, the land is now yours. Celebrate your new beginning. I will give you a hatch here. It will be of great use to you. And these are 10 gold bars. The relief supplies provided by Massilia. Okay, nice. Let's get me gold bars and the hatchet. What is my goal? What do you want to build in this land? Let's just grab some gold bars. Nice. Want to find metallic gold. There we go, so there is my inventory now, and let's pick up this axe. She's just telling me how to equip an axe, but we just right click on it, don't we? Yeah, right click on it, so the little hand icon means it's in my hand. What we'll do, let's put it on the hot bar. There we go, so I've got the hot bar, so I should be able to uh, cut down some of these trees now. Yeah, there we go. All right, you've got a log. Logs, or should I say Mr. Log, are the most basic crafting materials that also excellent for things like campfire fuel. That's not all, but while processing Mr. Log, you can upgrade it to planks. How do you process it? The hint is in processing equipment. Okay, fair enough. So we've got some resin out of that. We've got three cedar logs and we've got bark. Let's speak to this character again. If you made up your mind to live on this land, I wish you well in your new home. I'll give you one of my precious companions. Oh, what's she giving us? A dog, a cat, or a bear, or a little girl? Okay, now we'll go for the bear.
Oh, look at that, we've got a little bear following us around. Okay, so let's go and let's have a look. The main quest, you travel to far north. Uh, for now, you go to establish your life and persist. And Massilia needs a strong ally to reconstruct and survive. You have to proceed with working on your new land and wait for news from Massilia. So let's go check out the uh, quest board. So we've got a few different quests. Recruit. So you can, oh, you can recruit people as well. Punk. Uh, Moshi, the prostitute. <laughs> okay, work for personal pleasure. Okay, so we can buy her five gold bars. He is a thief as well, so she might rob us. Um, Pesame, the hot spring mechanic. We've got a punk and Dioli citizen. Oh, we'll leave that for now. We've got adventure ranking on this. Have a look at the request. So you need to learn to run your base. As you build your base, the aim is now about shared container. Now, the shared container is a vault piece of equipment for your resident to live and work in. Listen carefully as I'm only going to explain it once. Containers such as crates and barrels have the concept of permissions. Normally only you can move items in and out of the container. Uh, but you can change it. Okay, that's fair enough. So we can lock the containers. Uh, we have got one there. How do I pick that up? Uh, next one, learn the art of craftsmanship and build a house. Crafting is an essential skill for life and adventure. Your goal is to build a house on this land. You can create a workbench on the spot using quick craft ability you already know. First gather logs by chopping down nearby trees then use quick craft to make a workbench. Fair enough. And the last one is combat. Doesn't hurt to learn how to handle a weapon or two. Very nice. So we've got our sturdy box and I need to create a workbench. So, quick craft our abilities here. Can we drag these to our hot bar? Yeah, yeah, she can, nice. So let's quick craft a workbench. What can we craft? Bonfire, bait, makeshift arrow bandages. We can't do them yet. Create a bonfire or workbench. Let's create a workbench. I need three cedar logs, which I have got. Good, you've made a workbench. Let me tell you something crucial about becoming a seasoned adventurer. By middle clicking, you can interact with items in your backpack, creatures, or objects on the map. You do various actions like kicking away pesky creatures, flipping switches, and mixing potions. Moreover, when placing furniture walls, middle click will also let you rotate them. You can also use the R key and keyboard for substitute, that's fine. Okay, so let's place a workbench down. Where should we place it? We can throw it over there and place it. Let's put it there for now. Okay, nice. All right, next one, middle click uh, to hold the container for your inventory, then right click on the ground to place it. Let's middle click that one. Let's grab that and let's place it. Where should we place it? Put it there for now. Rotate it also. Let's put it there. Oh no, let's put it next to the workbench. We'll put it this side actually. There we go. Nice. Open the container, click on the lock icon on the right side to change its permissions. There we go. So it's shared now. That's fine. Yeah, you need to gather logs from trees and use the quick craft. So I've already done the workbench. Uh, let's beat the bound punk to death and report back to Ashland. So I've got to go beat someone up. Where is he? Let's go find him. What have we got here? White flowers. Yeah, he's made of raw food. Categorize the floor. I've got tufted grass also. Oh, here's the punk here. Yeah, so left click to attack him. You pervert, what's he calling me a pervert for? And auto, so right click auto. There we go, nice. Saves a lot of time. 
You look tired, are you okay? The best way to recover from fatigue is to get a good night's sleep and a comfy bed. When you get enough sleep, you might get new recipe ideas, train your potentials, or even learn magic. If you haven't made a bed yet, you can use meditation. Yeah, so I've got a bed and some stamina's down or fatigue, we call it. Let's use meditate. and rested now. Um, what we've got here, yeah, we've got some bones. Let's collect some bones. Yellow is going to use that. Can I break this box? Reinforced plank. Um, let's collect some mushrooms as well. Wow, can I have some mushrooms? Yes. Mushrooms are tasty, but they don't keep you full for long. <laughs> Yes, food spoils if you leave it out too long. Fair enough. What's the spoil rate on it? Tell me. I don't know, let's just eat it. Why is this bird just following me? More in this box, see what we get. Uh, we've got an oak plank from that. Yeah, why is this goose or whatever it is following me? What the hell is that? Oh, she's asleep. She turns into a dragon when she's asleep. She turns into a little uh, skull. Oh, look at it. Well done. Stupid enemies are not punks are not scary because they only launch simple attacks, whether they're enemies that attack from range or enemies that have trouble some abilities. Next one, so I need to kill a boar. Defeat the bound boar by using range weapons and items. What we got here? So I've got some granite pebbles. So let's put them. Let's throw some pebbles at this boar. We've got a potion of blindness and a potion of confusion. Yeah, why is my better? Is that supposed to be more better? Following me. Why is he turned? Yeah, bear cub. Why is he turned into like a swan? So it looks like you can interact with most things in this game. There's this boar. Let's go take this boar out. What can I see this? There you go, throw some granite pebbles at him. What did we get out there? We've got the corpse of a boar, so I was guessing we can cook that to eat it. Let's head back. I do need to heal up. Uh, what I might do is... Uh, can I craft the bed now? Let's have a quick look, quick craft. Bonfire and bait. No, so I haven't got anything at the minute. Fair enough. Let's just use meditate again. Bring my house up. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Keep 
brilliant. Now you no longer have a problem with the opponents who simply push you with force. Opponents like war boars are relatively easy to deal with, but they can surround you, cut off your retreat, or even leave you stranded. We further training or set a goal for you. The goal is to defeat 100 enemies no matter what they are. Fair enough. Hunt hostile creatures. Have a quick look at the job board. I want you to look for a puppy. It's not like I would dislike humans, but I've always found a deep connection with animals. So you'll be requested to find Fiamma, uh, by Fiamma to find a lost puppy. Apparently the puppy was strayed into Puppy's Cave located northwest of your home. So we'll head over there, that's going to be like some sort of dungeon. And let's see if I can cook this um, meat. So craft on the bonfire, yeah, meat on the bone, I can cook this. I need one meat and fuel is, also refuel is on. So has it got any fuel? Have I got to put fuel into it? Yes, and it refu yeah, refuels it as you do it. So we've got a grotesque meat there, which is made by me, it's fresh and it's editable. It's stinky, harmful substance, dry and bitter. Right, we'll eat it. Let's go for it. Now I am bloated. Oh, there we go. So it changes during the uh, night time and daytime by the look of it. Got a cedar tree. Got that down. What we've got there? Some sticks. Two cedar branches. Let's see if we can craft a bed. So what we got, grass doors, uh, we've got sawmill, what do we need for that? Uh, logs and stone. Makeshift bed, I need a tuft of grass and some leaves. So let's go make a bed first, then we'll head off to that dungeon. So leaves and grass. So I've got some logs. Where do I get the tough to grass from? Ah, oh, there's a weed. Nice. So the weeds give you leaves. Stone there, we'll grab that. Nice. We've got some granite stone. Mushroom, we'll grab them. Grab all these leaves, Aurea, and I do need a tough to grass. Right, we've got some vines, we've got a grass branch. Um, okay, so I'll step out, didn't mean to do that. So this is the world map. Hey, wait a minute, don't run. You're now on the global map. In the global map, you can travel great distances, but time also passes quickly, and you've got to be careful not to starve to death. If you have nothing to eat, try clicking on yourself, you'll be able to enter an outdoor map correspondence. So you can enter any tile on this map. See that road on the right? Attacks are less frequent on the road, and the farther you stray from the road, the more likely to encounter tough enemies. Okay. Let's go... Right, let's just go back in. I do want to get a tough to grass first. And then we'll head out on the world map. Got some berries there. Handful of crim. Well, there's a box over there. See what's in this box. What was that? What did I pick up? You picked up an oak plank. Grab some berries as well. Alright, let's have a quick look at my carrots. So where's my... Um, Okay, so you've got your status effects down here, so food and bloated at the minute. Uh, as the hungry, your speed decreases. Tired at the minute, so we've got no stamina. As you can see, I've got 2 out of 22 and I'm wet. A condition where you're wet and more susceptible to electric attacks. So uh, that's given. So where's my... thirst and hunger? Hmm. 
Okay, well, let's get a tufted grass. We got here. Oh, moss grass there. Kill this sheep. Nice. So I've got 10 tufts of grass there. That was blatantly a sheep, not a grass. Right, I'm exhausted. Should be able to build a bed. Let's quickly build a bed and then we'll rest. So makeshift bed, let's craft one of them. Oh, I need one more leaf. Yeah, there's a weed there. Should get a leaf from that. There we go. Makes you bed, let's craft one of them. Okay, nice. So, uh, where should we put our bed? Let's just pop it over here somewhere. Okay, nice. Let's sleep because we're on minus six at the minute. Okay, nice. I've slept, so all my. Uh, states effects look like they've disappeared as well. And oh, I've woke up, I've learned something. So, you come up with a recipe in your dream, you learn how to make a crystal light. Oh, fair enough. What else can we craft? Fishing rod, torch. That's the weapons. How can I craft weapons? But would that be on the recipe search here? And yeah, so it tells you what skill you actually need to craft all of these. Got a hatchet for now, right? Okay, let's go and head over to save this puppy. I think. What we'll do, let's just dump some of this in my inventory. So, what should we put in there? Tufts of grass. Uh, we'll take the berries, we'll take put all these in. Mushroom, we'll take that. Stone, planks. Take the potions with us. Put the 10 gold bars just in case we do. I don't know, in case someone steals it from, from us. Um, wild flower. Take the bone. And is there an auto sort button? Let's sort by. Yeah, we're going for that. Oh, okay, nice. So we put them in the uh, box. Let's head out into the world. Okay, so on the world map, we've got Puffy, there it is. So we've got the Puppy's Cave there. We've got other uh, points of interest as well. Mystical Ruin, danger, it tells you the danger level also. There, we've got a Forbidden Cave. We've got an Ancient Ruin, that's level seven. So we'll stay, stay clear of that for now. Let's make our way up to this Puppy's Cave. There we go, nice. Let's enter this, there we go. So oh, we've got some sort of crab here, a hermit crab. Uh, exploring a cave already, you're becoming like a real adventurer. Before you go deeper, take a look at yourself. yourself. You sure that's enough armor? Caves have lots of enemies. If you have an, an unequipped slot or two, you might want to turn back for your own safety. At your base, you can craft simple weapons and armor, or you can browse the shops in your town. Defense value is especially crucial stat that reduces damage you take from enemies. All right, let's head over there. Let's not attack him on my My bear's already attacking him. Right, chunk of what? Chunk of soil. Well, I'm going to have to go help my bear out because he's about to die. Alright, he's on a trap as well, so you've got to be careful of traps. So let's attack the hermit crab. Let's auto attack that. See how much damage he does to me. He's doing quite a bit. You cease combat due to the low health. Okay. Maybe I do need to go and grab some uh, armor or a better weapon or something. Actually, it's not doing it. 
Oh, what we got there? A wreck. And we've got a, a pewter. Right, let's attack him. Right, okay. I'm nearly dead. I've literally got... Oh, I've got nine health. So, what's that? A bandage. Um, how many bandages have I got? Use another bandage. Oh, they are following me. Can you use multiple bandages? I'm going to use another one. Okay, it's 13 health. Let's finish attacking this little punit. And then, nice. Okay, so the band. Oh, okay, so the bandage. So it gives you health over time when this counts down. So restores. Yeah, restores two d six hit points. Nice. Oh, my bear's about to die. There's not a lot I can do about it. Trying to defeat this crab. Wonder how much health he's got left. And actually, show me. Taking a beat in this crowd. No way I can hover over him just to see how much health he's got. Literally using all my bandages on this hermit crab. Oh, my bear's about to die. Right, I think. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's go back, let's heal my bear up. I don't think I can, um, I need to find a better weapon and some better armor or try and craft some because it says danger level two, but them hermit crabs, they just uh, take a lot of damage. They? Um, take forever. <laughs> I'm literally gonna run out of bandages as well. My bear's about to die, so let's head back. Let's end our home again. Okay, so he's healed up now, that's fine. Let's see what I can craft. So we've got a tinker's table or carpenter's table. I do need planks and granite stone for that. For sawmill, I need logs and stone. Let's go grab some logs. Nice, grab, grab these logs and we need to find some stone somewhere. I chop this down. No, I probably need a pickaxe for that. So we've got quite a few stone. We've got three birch logs. Um, we've got junk stone made of granite and three granite stones. We've got one rosewood log. We chop some more of these trees down. Fish, uh, you're wet. A bear cub is wet. So you start to harvest fish with an iron woodcutter's. <laughs> okay, did I get some? No, I got a bone from it. Didn't think that would work. Uh, 
uh, what the hell was that? Okay, you pick up resin, you pick up cedar rosewood. Um, it's a new item, one package arrives. Okay, let's go see what this package is. A burnable garbage bag. What's in it? Can I burn it on the campfire? Let's pick that up. I don't know what that's for, that garbage bag. I guess I'd need like a bin or something. So let's place this garbage bag there. Just put it out of the way at the minute. And let's see what else we've got. What's this? A letter titled Journal of Lutz Volume. Oh, do I need to put my thing down to pick that up? Yeah, I do. Let's put this, um, let's read it. Okay, maybe the, the title of former hero is just a joke along. Everything I believed in was built on a lie. Now I live off land. Who is this from? Lutz, the former hero in the remote forest. Who, who, this, who this letter written in a sleepless night will reach? I'm looking forward to finding out. Okay, fair enough. Let's dump all of these in here. So let's put the logs in, put the bark, bones. Put the resin in there as well. Handful of crim. I'll take the crim so I can eat them. Uh, mushroom, blueberry, and white flowers. Can I eat them flowers? Yes, I can. And I am a bit tired, so let's sleep. A little sleep, get our stamina back up. And we should be able to craft some more workbenches. Right, have they got an auto sort on this? Yeah, I'll put in there, nice. So we've got all that in there, so what can we craft? So we can get a sawmill at the minute. Right, let's craft one of them. And let's place the sawmill, where should we put it? Let's put the sawmill over here for now. There we go, nice. So sawmill, I need logs to turn into planks and branches into sticks. So I need to pick them up so it doesn't come automatically out of your um, stash. Looks like you need to pick them up and put them in. So let's pick some logs up. Take some branches as well. Try and Put these up. There we go. Nice. So it's pretty quick on the crafting as well. So there we go. We've got four oak sticks. We'll put the logs in as well. That should give me some planks. Nice. We've got 12 planks out of that. There we go. Put them back in our stash. See what else we can craft. Uh, grass door, grass floor, craft string, inker's table. I need crafting skill of three and five for that. Okay, so I can't craft them. I need one stone, but I actually need crafting three. I'm currently at crafting one at the minute. I'm guessing that goes up the more you craft. I could start building a little um, house out of grass. Oh, can I tell this bed? I might actually just go back into the uh, that little cave. I think there might be some decent loot in there if I can try and find a better weapon. Can I tell him to wait somewhere? 
I don't want him to follow me anymore. Let's just go. I don't know how to keep him here. Well, all that crafting has took its toll on me actually, so let's uh, let's just meditate for now. That reduce the no, that's just your health and your mana, ain't it? So we're gonna have to sleep. Let's sleep and we'll head off to the cave. My bear dies, my bear dies. Well, why is he not sleeping? I can't sleep because I'm not sleepy. Well, I am because I'm nearly out of a. Uh... What's it? I'm gonna. Oh, let's do a bit of a. Uh... Crafting. I should waste my uh, fatigue down. I should be able to sleep then. There we go, 4 out of 26. I should be able to sleep now. Let's quickly put these in the stash. So we get rid of all these seeds and the leaves and all that. Go and sleep. There we go. There we'll wake up fully rested. We'll go uh, check that cave out. Hopefully, we can find some decent loot. hell is that bag? Unburnable garbage. God, there's loads of garbage around. Right, let's kill this rabbit. What did he give me? Nothing. Okay, so let's go. What have we got there? Tinker's Camp. Let's try there. They might have some um, something for me. I might have to take them gold bars with me though. We'll go and have a look. Let's, let's head towards the path. It's a little, it's like a little corner of town. Look, that notice board seems to have quests for adventurers posted on it. Completing quests earns you various rewards. So make sure you check the notice board. Okay, so you get difficulty tasks. That's fair enough. And he's wearing a cat costume. Why? That is my question. Why? Why is that granite stone just turned into a llama? Oh no, that's my bear. Why is my bear turned into a llama? This game is so odd. <laughs> Very odd. Let's speak to him. No. Let's speak to her. Rabbit's tails are said to bring good luck to those who eat them. I came for a new recipe. As in the capacity of a cooking master, I'm always eager to learn a new recipe. Bring me egg meal for my research. I need egg meal. Right, let's find that. I don't know what egg meal is. Find it. I'll find out and then I'll do that quest. Let's speak to the caravan master. Is it rare to find a beastman merchant? Perhaps you don't see many of us in Tiris. Okay, so my affinity is changing. Where is the where's the blacksmith? Okay, nice. So we've got the, got the trainer there, there's the blacksmith. Sweet blacksmith, see if we can get a uh, better weapon. Right, let's talk. Have confidence in my assortment of goods. I came for it until I burst. Please let me eat curry until I'm full. Raven Roy, so I ain't got any curry on me, so. What's he got on him? Uh, he's got a war sickle, a Mika club. I've only got eight orans at the minute, so I can't even afford any of these. Oh, okay. 
We've got there a scholar. I'll break these. Rob them. Well, I'm supposed to be a thief, so I should be able to pickpocket these, surely. What if I use sleight of hand? Sleight of hand on this mercenary. Let's try it. He might, he might turn on me. Really commit a crime. Yes. What did I get? He slashed me and rendered me nearly dead. <laughs> okay. Oh god, he caught me. Oh, he's killed me. Okay, when you die, you can put a little message. So, let's go with that for now. You're about to be buried. Crawl up in Tinker's camp. Crawl up or buried. Let's crawl up in Tinker's camp. Oh dear, Amiri, how can you die so easily? How do you even manage to do that? Because I got caught stealing, that's why. However, for the first 90 days after you arrive in this land, you won't suffer any penalties from dying. Okay, that's good to know. I didn't lose any more equipment either. Oh, I did steal. I stole a, mush a mushroom. A stale mushroom from him. Did I steal from the mage? No. Right, let's put that down there. These abilities. What's that one? South farm. We've got prey. Uh, that can be used in the global map. And we've also got meditate. So let's put meditate down there as well. Okay, so I don't really want to get caught again. Right, let's leave here. Let's go down. Let's go visit this cave. Head down this way. Ooh. Okay, we've got a random fight. What we got? We've got a bat who is formidable and puts in and a chicken. And we've got a hermit crab, but they take forever. So let's kill Julia. Is that a chicken attacking me? I can't bother this hermit crab, it takes too long, I need to go find a better room. Oh, we've got a goblin there as well, he's formidable. That's my bear, is he dead? I don't know. Kill this little duck. Right, let's head down this way and then we'll head over to the cave. Mm -hmm. We've got, yeah, we've got some gnomes and a yeek. So I've got the higher ground. Does that work in my favour? These gnomes are about to kill me. Oh, he's dead. My bear's dead. You lost your companion. There, there, David Tilt will set your companion and probably come back to life just fine after a week or so. When a companion dies, they temporarily leave your party. Okay, fair enough. All bandages left. Well, let's stay away from that hermit crab. What? Wish this hermit crab would piss off. Bone crystal. I get it. Oh, looks like some armor there. What's that wooden shirt? Oh, is that better than what I've got on? Uh, sand shirt, decorative clothing that doesn't offer much protection, and this one, okay, that doesn't offer much protection either. Weight 0.2, and the weight of that one's 0.4. Um, oh, we've got a can of catching processed food. Nice. I've literally got no energy left as well. Let's eat that. Is that going to give me a bit of energy? No. And oh, a blessed grass decorative ring, which gives me a PV plus two. Oh, I'll definitely equip that. That should make us a bit more tanky.
I like hermit crabs pissed off anyway, I close the door on him. What we got here, a long scroll, scroll written in runes, it's categorised as a scroll, identified to reveal more. Holy Veil, what's that, just get me a little book, blessing that protects from hexes. Okay, nice. I can't mine through any of this either. Maybe I need a pickaxe to actually go through it. Grab these pebbles, use them to throw. We've got junk stone and We've got two junk stones, hardness 24, granite and silt. Oh, I can't even get past them because he's in the way. There we go, let's get him in here, and let's go. What we got there, a public performer. Let's go and attack him. What I get from him, a superior gene of the public form. It bears genetic traits of an organism. It's made of gold and it's categorized as DNA. So, I'm not sure what that does. Some sort of crafting material. It's rare anyway. Nice. Brass shirts. No. Crap. Oh, we've got another scroll here, a long scroll. Scroll written in runes. It's categorized as a scroll. Identify it. How do I identify it then? I don't want to use it. Use a return location meadow. Okay, so it's like a return scroll. I am exhausted. I will need to fall asleep. No, when I've taken so much damage and all that. What's that? Bottle of milk. Nice. Goblin. Oh, right, let's go. All right, let's go over here. Meditate. I do need to fall asleep. Hopefully, no one should follow me. All right, let's meditate. There we go. Fall asleep. Back in it, I'll see if we can find this uh, goblin roll or whatever it was. Right, okay, what just happened there? Congratulations. Oh, we must have leveled up, so we've got a feet point. Do you see the blue feather icon at the bottom of the screen? Uh, when you form actions, grow this gauge fills up. Once it's full, you earn a feet point. Click on the gauge to see a list of feats. For example, the gourmet feet won't appear unless you've learned the cooking skill. Okay, fair enough. So let's click on that. I've got feet. What should we learn? So, strength on a life force, magical gene, you gain mana by using gene manipulation. Short distance runner, uh, strengthens your stamina. Um, you establish your own defensive style and dodge, you learn how to dodge attacks. We go for the dodge. Yes, let's learn how to dodge. There we go, nice. So, shadow bolt, pe pe uh, we've got pierce the target with a beam of magical light. Emits. Uh, one damage, six darkness beam. Okay, nice. So let's put that on my hot bar as well. I will use that as six. Um, I've only got eight of them. Well, I'll use that on the next person we see. I've got a bottle of liquid. Uh, what is it? A potion? Categorised as a potion, yeah. Yeah, you just use that auto attack. Oh, hermit crab.
don't know if I can use that now, so let's try that. Let's use this on the Shadow Bolt on the Hermit. Really cast a spell over your limit. Ah, oh, because I ain't got enough mana. Okay. No, I don't want to do that. How much does it cost? Oh, these hermit crabs are really annoying. Floating eye. Oh, he's paralyzed me. Right, okay. Go, yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, this hermit crab won't leave me alone. Got no bandages anymore. Got there, a cobweb piece of silk. Oh, we've got treasure here. Collect uh, this wreck. What do we get? Onyx gems. is impossible for a, a fillets. Can I get that? No, I can't get that. I need a pickaxe for all that. Oh, let's get away from that. They're pretty beefy. Oh, I just need a decent weapon. I can find like a magic axe or something like that. Maniac cobweb. Direction. Oh, where's all well the good stuff at? Oh, he's about to kill it over there. Right. What was that? A grotesque offal. Okay, so we've got the insides of one of them units. Big punnets, whatever they're called. Sure, what it's got to do, but we've got some meat, a corpse of a yeek. Oh, no, 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 oh, it's killed me. You're about to be buried to crawl up or. There we go. Oh, so you don't lose your stuff anyway, so that's good. Just a bit annoying. What we got here? We've got another volume here. Get this up. I found a small sense of peace. That's from Lutz again. Going up Lutz. Let's put that in our stash. Do need to sleep so let's go to sleep to regain our health and our stamina there we go nice so all refreshed all oh, my bears returned now as well talk to my bear oh you could talk to him that's his age 15 and he's a bear cub 
Talking about this continent, they say there's a giant tree where fairies list arcane okay, force supply. I need a composite shield for a small errand. If you could deliver it within the deadline, I'll pay 91 orans. Composite shield, well, I'll decline that because I ain't got one. I can ask him to join me, or oh, I can ask him to wait here. That's how you do it. Don't use shared equipment. I want you to become my maid. I'm going to, <laughs> we can banish him. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll leave him here for now. As it's on private still, so we can't use my stash. Let's put some of these back in, so let's get rid of that. Um, get rid of the gems. Get rid of the silk, we've got the crims there. We're going to cook the rest of this meat. What we got here? Package of burnable garbage. Why? Don't want garbage. Let's move this package. Let's throw it over there. Help the campfire, see what we can craft. Uh, meat on the bone, or we've got weed stew. Let's craft all of these. There we go. And weed stew, we've got tufts of grass there, which I'm not going to bother with. There we go. So chicken on the bone, it gives us uh, that fruit it sized and juicy, and that one's fatty as well. Kill the sheep. Duck. I want to use this uh, ability on this duck. Not a bot, the duck. Uh, you're sarcastic as ever. You're stunned by the face of a girl who is beautiful as Ellie, and you cast Shadow Bolt. Yeah, so was it not done it then? Ah, oh, there we go. Nice, so we've got some skin there, we've got some more duck meat going. I wonder what the uh, shelf life of this is. Doesn't look like it says. Have some more meat on the bone. Put some of this stuff in our stash. Um, and, but I don't want a burnable garbage. We get rid of the bone, we get rid of the skin. We'll take these meat with us, get rid of the offal. Bottle of milk, get rid of that. Eventually, I will keep that on us. And uh, let's throw this garbage somewhere. There we go. Okay. Good to go. I do need to heal up on 19 to 23. Is that because I'm filled? As you get hungry, your speed decreases um, or you die of starvation. Yeah, so I'm full. So I don't know why that doesn't replenish my health. I would have thought it would have done. Oh well. Okay. Well, I think I'll leave that video here, guys. Um, let me know what you think of the game if you have played it or you have played the previous game in this series. Let me know what you think. I think it's a bit of a bit of a mixture. Obviously, you've got your RPG roll-like elements, you've got your base building, your crafting, and all that. It's um, yeah, it seems uh, pretty good to be fair. Obviously, I've only been playing it for what about an hour, an hour and a half now, but I'll probably be playing more of this. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, and I appreciate you for watching. Drop us a like, drop us a sub if you do enjoy the content, and I will see you in the next one.